there's not a good video out there on the Samsung uh, model to, to get to the dryer vent to figure out how to clean this thing out. This is the model DV400 EWH DWR. You'd think that just taking this screw out and this screw out and there's one in here out and then it would come right out and you could get down in there and vacuum out. Not the case. You gotta take this whole front panel out. Uh, but it's not as complicated uh, as you might think. So we'll get to it and show you. Really all you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver. I got this handy black and decker for Christmas. A little light on it, pretty cool. And you can adjust the uh, angle there. This comes in handy, forward and backward. I've got another flashlight just in case. And then a pair of pliers came in, can come in handy. So first we gotta get this panel off to get to it. So we'll start taking the screws out and see. Now you don't need to take these out. It doesn't hold the panel to the actual dryer itself. This one does need to come out. It's uh, it holds a little plastic piece up in here uh, on the inside. Uh, I think it just protects the sensor or the door sensor. Take this first one out. Be sure not to lose any screws. And this one. Same one over here to the right. I'm gonna kind of set these down here so I know where they go. Oh, I should say I've already unplugged the thing just to save a little time. Uh, so do unplug it just to be on the safe side because take your bit down, obviously. Uh, so you've got that loose, you got that loose. The hinges don't have to come off. Uh, there's no other screws here holding this on. What you've got is you've got a little bracket down here down here and then the top itself uh, is where you're really going to take things off at. So we're going to pop this top next, see if we can get this loose. So just give a little give a little pressure and it pops right up. Uh, I'm going to grab this uh, toilet lawn refill box here and pop this up for me. Uh, so it's just got some rests that hold, it's got these two clips that hold uh, this down. Uh, we've got three screws up here that we have to, and one here, one here. So there's actually five at the top to get this panel off with. So that's where this angle comes in handy. Just take those out. Let's see, not that this one right here. One in the middle, and the other one here. Again, again you've got five. Top. Okay, so we're going to set those aside. I know those are the top. Okay, now we've got these clips. I think we can pull the panel off with those staying in place. Um, you'll see right here that uh, there's a, a little notch here that holds this panel on. So if you can raise that up some, so I'm going to use a flathead here to do that. Get, a little, get that up over that clip there. And the same thing on this side. Okay, grab that loose. Now you've got that loose, you should be able to lift it up over those two black retainers. Now on the inside here, you got a connector that goes to the door sensor. And it just, you just wiggle it gently and pull, pull it out. There's not a, uh, I can feel um, to get that out of there. Okay, yeah, see there's no nothing to depress, it just comes off. Okay, and I'm, sounds like I'm dropping apart. But what you heard a minute ago was this little piece, the screw right here on this side of the door. What you heard drop a minute ago. I'll show you real quick. This piece, it's just a plastic piece that yeah, on the inside here fits like this and so when clothes are going around it doesn't catch on, the, on anything. Okay, so we can set the door aside for now. Okay. Oh. Now, what we're trying to do is to get in here uh, so that we can get down in there and get any debris that might be inside there. We've got three screws here. 
I'm not sure if they all need to come out to get this internal piece off or not. So we're just going to start taking them off. Again, I'm doing this just because there weren't any videos, at least not in 20 minutes of searching, that revealed this particular dryer, Samsung dryer. There's a screw in there. Let me look in there and see where the head is. sensor however you want to look at it. So I'm going to disconnect. Now this one does have a depress. We have to press that pull it out. So now let's pull this dryer vent assembly all the way out. So now I can take it without getting anything wet. I'm going to go and vacuum this out real good. I won't do that on camera. Spare you the, spare you the pain. I know if you're looking inside you guys can't see it in the camera but there's a bunch of lint hearing aid battery uh, and a little piece of metal not sure what that is down there in the bottom so I'm gonna get all that stuff out and reassemble this thing so I'll uh, actually you know what while we're at it this piece looks like it can come right off of it getting that debris out real easy so I think there's three screws holding this on we'll see uh, I've already turned the electricity off, so I am getting into it, yes, but, the, but I know that the electricity off, so if I do touch something I shouldn't, it will be okay. And there's another one over here. And what I'm hoping is that, yeah, exactly what I was hoping for, so now you can see I can get in here and get that hearing aid battery, little pebbles that the kids put in their pockets, whatever this piece is, clean all that up. And while I'm in here, I'm going to vacuum it out real good and, and just get all the lint out and then we'll reassemble it. So be right back. Okay, got it all cleaned up, mostly, as good as I'm going to do today anyway. But, hey. Found 33 cents while I was in there, so there we go. And some kind of little buttons, some bobby pins, and you never know what you're gonna find in these dryers. People leave stuff in their pockets all the time. Anyway, so now we gotta figure, see if we can figure out how to get this thing back together, or remember how to get it back together. So I took this off. You can see we had some stuff in there. Got it cleaned up, and it had three screws, which I got right here. Position this back in place, and it's just a yeah, the, the, this little foam piece here just sits right up against this piece here, and the fan turns inside there and sucks the air through there. So all you're doing is putting that in place uh, and then rotating it until your uh, holes on this piece are lined up with the holes where the screws go. So, like yay. Make sure your screwdriver is pushed over to the righty tiny position. Oh, and don't do that. Drop the screw right down in there. If you have one of those little long things with a magnet on it, that can become handy. But I have a screwdriver with a flashlight. Alright, got that screw. Oh, jeez. Don't 
do that. Right. That just slows things down when you do stuff like that. So okay. Put this right back. We got where these holes are again. We've already talked about how that goes. That little edge fits inside there. Just like so. I'm gonna do this side over here first. Use my foot to hold it up. Use whatever you got, right? So we have <laughs> cameraman got giggled. Use whatever you got. That's why you got you know three or two hands and two feet. <laughs> okay. Screw number two. And screw number three right down here on the left. And there we go. She's good and tight. What did we take off next? I think it was the this dryer assembly here. Yeah, you can see, uh, I don't know, some kid left a, some kid, one of my kids, left a crayon or deli bean, who knows what. Who knows what they left in there. <laughs> Oh, anywho, so don't, you know, thread your wire right back down through the, the opening here. Just see it right here. Just thread your wire down through there because you're going to need to reconnect. And then on the outside, you want to make sure that slides down to that piece we just attached. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach my wire. And over here on the right, there's, there's a little... A little thing that holds the wires in place, and there's a hole, so you can stick that into uh, that hole. So it's not just roaming around somewhere. And uh, I actually have this piece too that I wasn't sure where it went. Mm, who knows? So I have a feeling though that it held these wires somewhere, but I don't know where. I don't think it's detrimental, so I'm just gonna leave it out. So if you know, put it in the comments below so I can find it. So I reattached the uh, hey dog. That would be Oliver. Okay, now we're gonna put the screws back in here. So remember, we've got three out here and one on the inside. Uh, gonna figure out which ones. Ah, uh, yes, that were these here. So we have two of these longer ones and two of these shorter ones. So the longer ones go on the outside here, and the little shorter one goes down here and here in the middle on the outside. So we'll start with these long ones. Now you've got on the outside there's a couple of extra holes. Um, we'll need those but not right now because those help secure the front of the dryer to the frame. And those are the two outsides. I'm going to put this little short one here in the middle on the outside. And then we've got one more short one, and it goes right down in there. Okay, my trusty little black and decker with the extra light. Ooh. Okay, okay. A little awkward to be inside the tub. Can you imagine if you're one of those cat videos? No, you can't. Okay, not good. But since I had to go get this earlier. That screw that I dropped. You can use it to grab right out of the hole. And try this again. Actually, if you use your magnet, maybe we can magnetize the bit a little bit so that the screw will stay on there long enough for me to locate the hole and get the screw into. Okay, maybe. Oh, yes. And there we go. Now we're tightened up. Don't leave your tool inside the dryer, that'll be bad. Okay, so we've got that unit in place, all the screws are there. And we have some screws left. We have several screws left, but they all go on the outside of the unit, so we are going to do that next. Uh, one thing that I believe that you will find beneficial is to take these two things off to put the the uh, front back on the dryer. It's, they're, they're stiff, but they're not hard to do. If you just squeeze them at the base, and then um, you get one at the short edge out, and then rotate it, and the other side will come right off just like that. 
pretty simple. Maybe I can do a close up of that here and show you in a minute. So I've got those off. The dryer itself, I hope, I hope I'm doing this in the right order. But so as you put this together, don't forget to uh, plug your um, door sensor back in. And you've got you get a little groove on this side and it's flat on the other side. So you can look at the receiving part and see that there's a, a part where the groove slips in. So you know you've got it facing the right direction. Now, so we're going to connect that now. At the bottom we have there's a notch or a slot on either side of the door and those right here on my foot is notch here and here and they slip over the over this part right here okay so before we you won't be able to see that here in a second once I get this plugged in so we're going to plug this in and just support it real well oh, that was that piece that we lost in the beginning that fits right up underside here. We'll get that in a minute because uh, we have to have the door open to put the screw into that part. So now you're going to simply going to set those two slots at the bottom of the casing down all over the top and push this over and then make sure that no one looks see I didn't clean it up real well did I? But clean just set that over so that catches on both sides and it's not a big deal if that's, there's a little dirt there that's going to get dirty again anyway. Now these little guys, what I did earlier is, oh, this goes in, I pinched here, rotated out, and then lifted out. So you get a long piece here and a short piece here. So simply going to do that the same way, except going back in, just like that, that side. Do the other one on the other side. Okay, and that would be all over the dog in there barking. Okay, now we've got little, these are just little rester. They just, the top um, rests on it and just keeps things from rattling. So we've got all those four in place. They can sometimes see they just come right out like that and they can fall in there if you're not careful. So make sure those are down. Now we've got five screws to put in at top. Okay, we've got this. Two of these get long screws. These just simply go right here. And okay, the, the top rests down on that. We'll put the other one in. Just like that. I've got three more to go at the top. See, this isn't really a hard job at all. Take a little takes a little time. Okay, and one more at the top here. Gotta love these little black and deckers to make it real handy. So we get the ones in the top. Now we have the ones in the front. But don't forget this little this little piece, this little guy here. It goes inside and the screw goes into it. So we have one two, three more screws, and I just so happen to have three left, thankfully. Okay, so this will go right up top. And, oh, oh, have these three screws left to put in. Okay, which is good because I have blankets in the, in the washer that need to go in the dryer. Two more screws here, and you, you notice. Oh, oh, almost lost that underneath. Oh, I did lose it underneath. Okay, there we go. And there you go. So now all we have left to do is to put the dryer vent right back in, like so. We're ready to plug it back in and get back to doing the laundry. So that's how to take the dryer bit assembly out uh, to get it cleaned up and to put it back in. So this is the Samsung DV400 EWH DWR. That's the model number. You find it right here in the front of the dryer. I'll show you what the uh, panel looks like so that you can easily recognize that your model is very similar.
And the final touch is to remove the toilet bomb box and simply set the car cover down and then I'll get back there and plug it in.